Samsung just released the brand new Z Fold 3. Check this thing out. This is like a cell phone that folds. It, it can be a tablet, a phone, all sorts of things. And on the Samsung website, they call this an office that can fit in your pocket. So could we use this as our only productivity machine if we really wanted to? Let's find out. Okay, here's how we're going to what's up everyone i'm the everyday dad and if i can figure it out you can figure it out so i am very excited about this i have really enjoyed using the z fold 3 over the last couple of days but i really want to find out they called it an office that i can fit in my pocket could i use this as my only productivity machine if I really needed to. Now, just off the bat, as a project manager in my day job, there is some specific websites, some specific software that I use that I don't think is available on Android yet. So no, not 100% of the way. But if you do not have specific software requirements and you just do things like email, spreadsheets, all that kind of stuff, let's see if we could use this as that kind of a tool. And the main functionality we're gonna be checking out today is a Samsung technology called Dex. Now what DEX is, is you can plug this into a monitor, a computer, or a wireless smart device, and you can cast basically a computer from your phone, which I'm very excited to see. Could we use this? So let's find out. Now we will not be doing it wirelessly today. Um, I wanna make sure that we can record the screen externally, and I can't do that if I'm casting the device. So we will be using an external recorder to record the screen while we play around with this. So I show you the actual power of the phone without overtaxing it by recording its own screen. So we've just plugged it straight into the monitor, and you can see it's already, up. Oh, it's not letting us just like hang out here. Um, you can already see that it looks like a computer login screen, which I think is pretty cool. So let's unlock. You guys don't get to see my pin. I'm sorry. So this looks exactly, basically like a Chromebook, right? So it's almost like with one simple cable, you can turn your Z Fold 3 or any of the phones with DeX on it into a Chromebook. So let's actually see the functionality first. What do we get um, out of this? There's a few key things here that I really like, and you can really kind of set this up like a hybrid regular computer. So you can see we've got the regular icons up here. I kind of set this up how I have my normal computer set up. We've got our file explorer, which will let us see all of the files on the device itself. We've got our settings, Chrome, uh, some applications, tabs, stuff like that. You cannot set it up freely like on a Mac or on a Windows computer, but you get a lot of options within these grids. Do you see that right there? Like those are the little grids that the uh, icons can stay on. So it's not 100% customizable, but you can do a little bit with it. You can put all sorts of icons on here, or again, like a regular computer, you can come up here, you've got your file explorer, like all of the apps that you've currently got installed on your phone. You can see all the ones that I have here. A lot of these are pre-installed. I didn't mess with yet. Um, I've only had this for a couple of days, but the key ones that I normally use is if we're gonna use my YouTube scheduling and all that production stuff as my productivity baseline. I've got Docs, I've got Twitter, I've got Chrome, I've got Discord to listen to my WoW Guild um, during the day while I'm supposed to be working, and all the other things. There are all sorts of additional apps that you can buy to make this work. If your business mostly runs on Office 365, which is pretty the pretty big one, right? You can see we've got Office, OneDrive, Outlook, Teams can be downloaded onto here, all sorts of things. I normally just run everything through either the Apple iWork or Google, um, so I don't, I'm not gonna use all those. If you do wanna add something to the main screen, you can see here, just add to home. And now we've got our calendar up here. But again, much like a regular computer, we can put this on the main bar here below. Okay, so first off, let's check and see if we can multitask on here. Even when we do these kind of tests with like my iPad and my iPhone, it works really good when you plug it into an external monitor, except we get that crop on the side of the bars, and then it works still like an iPad even when plugged in. So are we gonna be able to use this like a regular computer? Like when I'm working, I've got lots of things up at once. I don't just have one or two things. All right, so we've got a testing the productivity of the Z Fold 3. So this is Google Docs. I work in this a lot. I'll have my research or whatever up over here. Got Google Docs up over here. Let's actually check our email at the same time. So we've got our email. We've got this. We've got also keep an eye on our battery life. We started this at 90%. So let's see how much we are taxing this at the same time. Uh, sometimes I'll have some music going on. You Okay, one thing that I think we are probably going to have an issue with is you'll see this right here, M. One of the things that I think we might run into on this, because it's still a phone, we will be going to mobile sites by default. So if the website will not allow you to turn that off or you only can go to mobile websites on this, that might be a little bit of a problem. I do know a lot of websites will let you go into desktop mode either way. 
Um, but just be aware that if you are trying to use um, the Z Fold or any of the Samsung phones as like a productivity tool. Okay, so we've got the three things. Let's get uh, Gerudo Valley. Now, one of the things I like, if you are gonna use this in this kind of a mode, um, you get a couple of options when it comes to audio. You see down here, here's the audio, the volume choice. So here's like system settings, notifications, ringtone, and then actual volume was on the right. Well, you can actually change that to either be the phone speakers or the display device and any other kind of like if you have headphones paired to this or something like that. So if you have like your regular computer and your regular speaker setups, you just hit display device and there you go. Now that is the thing uh, that will have the audio. Can you hear this? Hold on. We had it muted. But see? I think that's pretty neat. That is another little piece of functionality that turns this more into a computer than just a phone. But we'll, let's keep this running in the background. I do not want to get a copyright claim on this, so we're going to mute it. But I want this to keep going in the background to test the battery life and see how the processor is going to handle with all of this stuff up and going at once. So I think if we were just using this for a day to day, like, hey, we're typing, hey, we're checking our email, hey, we've got some music on in the background, this seems to work perfectly fine. Let's see how the calendar looks. Uh, so this is just a standard Samsung calendar. I, again, prefer Apple calendars, but you can see it's already populating some events for my Google account, so I think it would be very easy to sync my calendar. How easy is it to just, let's, new calendar test. Okay, so we'll do it to Gary at the everydaydad.net, which is my main account. Save that for August 18th, which is in the past. Okay, so we've added the new um, event, and that should be on everything. And I'm still seeing that we have not yet lost a percentage of battery life. That stuff is pretty good. I'm very excited to see how all of this works. So let's also see what kind of a... The only other thing that I think I would really need from a productivity standpoint... Okay, so let's see what kind of productivity apps they give us here. Can we get Teams? There we go, Microsoft Teams. We've got the whole suite, it looks like. Admin, Word, OneNote, Planner, SharePoint, PowerPoint, Dynamics, Authenticator, Azure. We've got all of the big uh, Microsoft stuff. So the things that I like a lot right off the bat of the Z Fold 3, I really like the mouse and keyboard connection together like this. It's very seamless, it's very smooth, it acts a lot just like a regular mouse and keyboard when you're plugged into a computer. You can see this is just a standard Logitech keyboard, standard Logitech mouse, it works, right clicks work, regular clicks work, double clicks work. Uh, you don't have to mess around, like when you plug in an iPad or you plug in an iPhone, you can pair a mouse and a keyboard, but it becomes that little dot and then the dot is not necessarily used in the same way as the cursor on a Mac is. So I like that if you're used to working on a Windows computer, and then you plug in your phone into a monitor or something like that, it works the same way. And I'm a big fan of intuitive and stuff that works the same way that you're used to, uh, which is one of the frustrating things about Apple and like their external monitor support for their phones and their iPads, because we've already talked about this, but you'll get huge bars on the side because it has a four by three crop because that's the aspect ratio of the tablet itself. And I wish there was a way to do something like this where it extended the display or it created a second display that worked very similar. So we've been working on this for about 10 minutes. We've lost 1% of battery life. We get access to all of the same things that we would normally get on a computer. The phone itself, one of the things I guess is a concern is that it can overheat. Uh, we've been messing around with this for a while and this thing is not hot. It actually feels just like it would in normal use. So I'm very, very impressed by this. So can you use the Samsung Z Fold 3 as your only productivity computer? I actually, I think you could if you did not have specialized software you needed. If you can get your work done on a Chromebook, I think you could absolutely use the Z Fold 3 as your only computer. Should you though? Eh, probably not. This phone costs $1,700 by itself, almost $2,000 after taxes. For two grand, you could get a phone, a tablet, a monitor, you could buy a whole setup and not just this little phone. Because not just, you don't just need the phone to make this happen, you need all of these other accoutrements to make it happen. So should you use it? Probably not. Could you use it? I think this is a really cool piece of tech that I'm very excited to continue to try out in the future. But what are some other things that you all would like to see from the Z Fold 3? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very excited to dig into this, but I haven't checked out Samsung devices in a few years, so I don't even know what everybody wants to see. Let me know what you want to see, and we will work on that. And if you like this video, and you would like to see my initial impressions of this, or even my initial impressions of the Samsung Flip 3, you can find those by clicking right here. Click 
click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.